what's up guys so binding first chain could be a little complicated but i'm going to try to make it very very simple here for you guys so you kind of understand what you should probably look for um yeah so let's go ahead and get right into it so i'm going to break the video up into about four simple parts just to make it super easy for you guys so you really know what's about to go down you know what i'm saying <laughs> number one the use of the chain so when i say the use of the chain i kind of mean like how do you want to wear it is it going to be like an everyday chain a, a party or club chain a family chain you know you kind of get my point so you can't really have like one chain for every type of event. For example, I thought you're trying to go to church and you know, like a <laughs> straight edge, 19 millimeter cube lid chain. Go ahead and check this video out. This is my last video. You know what I'm saying? This is the last video. Check that out for me. All right, let's continue. But yeah, once you have the use of the chain down, the next thing you want to look at is what kind of link you want for the chain. So I tend to match up the use of the chain with certain types of links. For example, the Cuban link to me normally equates to like a party or a club chain a lot of times. Or the, the Franco link equates to like a family chain or an everyday chain. The tennis link equates to a party or a simple outing chain. And of course, we can pair these so many different ways, but I'm just trying to keep it simple for you guys so you understand what kind of look goes for what kind of event in a sense. But let's go ahead and get into the next step, picking the width and the length of your chain, because this is really important. People, this is a very important step if you want to look correct. Now, the length and the width is important because it really ties in the first two steps, which we know now is the use of the chain and the type of link you want. So honestly, it's kind of hard to explain why this step is so important, but I could definitely give you an example so you kind of get my point a little bit better. So for example, you got an uncle, and we'll just call him Uncle Chain Nigga because he always giving out chains, right? And then you tell Uncle Chain Nigga that you want a chain, and he's all like, I got you, big dog, I got you. You're going to get your chain next week. And y'all excited and he comes up and surprises you with one of these droopy long chains that kind of touch your navel and you kind of looking at him like with all this disappointment. You can't fight Uncle Chain nigga because he used to be a part of the Brips and you don't really want to get shot or cut or whatever it may be. So now you got to live with this chain that's too dang long and too dang skinny to be walking around with. It looks like a jump rope around your neck and you really don't want that. Most people want a chain that kind of goes down to the length of the nipples. Not to be funny or anything like that, but it's normally about 18 to 22 or I'd say probably even 24 inches long. So you don't really want it too, too long. And if it's going to be about 24 inches long, you don't want the chain too thick either, depending on the type of length that is. So once you kind of have all those three steps down, you kind of get to get into pricing and then the other qualities, which kind of get really, 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 really tedious. So next you have pricing and, you know, pricing comes on so many variables that I don't even know why I added it to this list. But pricing, of course, varies on the carats of gold, whether it's solid or gold plated, the length and the width as well. Uh, basically think of it like this, the longer and wider the chain, the more material it takes to make it. So this kind of goes with the plating and solidity of the chain too. So just keep that in mind when looking to purchase the chain. And you have to realize that all of this kind of ties into play when, you know, buying from whoever you're buying it from. And for the little bonus piece I got here, um, talking about buying it from, I, I do have a link down in the description. So, you know, $50 off your first purchase if you buy from the gold shop. This whole video was not a sponsor, okay? Just, just, just understand that. I was really trying to show you guys how to purchase your first chain. But I also have a link, so why not use it and get $50 off your first purchase? So check out the gold shop link down in below. And yo, thank you so much for watching this video. Share it, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.